Hey folks, Alan Mandic, Mandic really here, and yet another holiday season is upon us. Feels like it started immediately after Halloween, so much so that we have Black Friday deals a week ahead of Black Friday. I compiled a list and I'm gonna show them to you in this video. I think I may be contractually obligated as a YouTuber to make a Black Friday deals video, AKA make a video about deals that I come across so I can put affiliate links in the description that don't cost you anything more, but do give me a small commission so I can keep on producing more interesting videos than this. But seriously, I got together a handful of deals for you folks that I think are pretty good, so let's check them out. Let's start off with a company that's not known for putting things on sale frequently, Bamboo Lab. The X1 Carbon, I think this may be the first time it's been discounted in its product life cycle, other than the Kickstarter launch that it initially had. It is on sale, the full X1 Carbon with AMS combo, normally $14.49. It's currently $12.99, and that also includes two spools of PLA filament. That is a little over 10% off of that machine. If you've been living under a rock for the last year and a half, two years, that machine is fast. I run it almost daily in the studio. It's currently prototyping some parts for an upcoming design release, and... I overall do like the machine and recommend it for folks who just want a no-nonsense push-button-and-go experience. But what about its little siblings, the P1P and P1S? The P1P, aka the X1 Carbon, after you recovered it from the chop shop, is a stripped-down version of the Bamboo Lab printers. It's on sale right now for $539. However, that's not the machine I would recommend picking up if you're interested in that. There is the P1S. It's slightly more clothed sibling, which has the panels, the auxiliary fan, and a few other add-ons, that's on sale for just $60 more at $5.99. That also comes with two spools of PLA filament. Actually, they both do either one you want to pick up. I just did an upgrade video. You can check out the link up here where I turned my wife's P1 P into a P1S with an upgrade kit. As I said in that video though, if you're looking to buy one brand new, I really recommend the P1S over the P1P just because you get a lot more for your money. That wraps up the Bamboo Lab, so let's move on to one of the many companies that has taken inspiration from Bamboo Lab, Cheaty Tech. Now, I recently used the X-Max 3 in a video where I did a client work project, and I really do think the X-Max 3 makes a solid engineering prototype prototyping machine due to its included chamber heater, auxiliary part cooling, auto bed leveling, large build volume at 325 by 325 by 310 millimeters, and all that is on sale right now for $899, but there's also a $20 off coupon, cheaty 20 use that code and you'll get it for $879. This is absolutely the lowest price that this thing has been since its launch a few months ago, and overall, I do like the machine. You've been seeing it in the background of quite a few of my videos lately, sitting on the bench behind me. Realistically, the biggest reason to go for the Bamboo Lab machines over the Cheaty Tech machines to me is the Bamboo Labs have a slightly better build quality overall, a slightly more user-friendly interface design to them, and also the multi-material system with the AMS, allowing for multi-color and multi-material printing. There is no such option for the Cheaty Tech machines other than completely unrelated third-party integrations. Swinging back around to some more entry-level stuff, we have the folks over at Elegoo. Finally, they launched the Neptune 4 Max, a big, fast 3D printer. I should have a video coming out real soon about that machine, but the Neptune 3 Max was not really that discounted off of the Neptune 4 Max's price, so I couldn't recommend picking up that older, slower machine but today it is on sale for a decent price. This machine has a 420 by 420 by 500 millimeter build volume, and it's on sale right now for $379.99, almost $100 cheaper than the Neptune 4 Max. If you're fine with your big prints taking a little bit of time, then this is still a really solid machine. I did an entire review you can check out up here of the Neptune 3 Max to get my full opinion on it, but overall, I did like the machine. I wanted the few improvements that the Neptune 4 Max does have, 
but the Neptune 4 Max has a few rough spots yet to be worked out. Sibling to the Neptune 4 Max is the Neptune 4 Pro that I did a video about not too long ago as well. That is a smaller i3 bed slinger. I called it baby's first clipper machine because it's kind of an entry level clipper instance where you've got that bed slinger with a 235 by 235 build volume and auxiliary part cooling setup, a decently flowing hot end and pretty fast clipper firmware interface on the thing. All that is on sale right now for $279.99. Overall, I have liked that machine, and if you're interested in dipping your toe into Clipper and pick up speed over, say, an older Ender 3, this is a good option that'll still be fairly user-friendly and familiar to folks coming from things like a Neptune 2 or the Ender 3. This next one's probably a bit of a curveball, hold on a second, but hear me out here pun intended. Hearing protection. If you are a 3D printer, you're probably also a bit of a maker. You're working with things that are loud and noisy, and I am a huge proponent of quality hearing protection. And my favorite brand is the folks over at Isotunes. They probably have the deepest discounts of this entire list right now, 30% off site-wide right now. They produce high quality hearing protection that also has Bluetooth audio capability. So you can listen to your audiobooks, your podcasts, your favorite music while you're working and protect your ears. I didn't do that for far too long and it permanently damaged my hearing. So don't be like me, wear your hearing protection. They're also great for if you or somebody in your life likes to go shooting, hunting, they have an aware line which has external microphones which will allow you to hear everything going on around you until the loud noises kick in and then it'll cut out and protect your ears. Probably the deepest discount going in this entire list, Isotunes 30% off site-wide if you use coupon code VIP30. If you're interested in their products, I have full reviews of their Link 2.0 over-ear hearing protection and their Pro 2.0s over on my Hot Rod Hippie YouTube channel that you could check out. I personally love the Pro 2.0s, especially even just for the airplane. I don't have to listen to the screaming baby three rows back. I can just be in my own little world protecting my hearing and listening to what I want to listen to. I'm heading over to England for Smurf in a couple of weeks and I am absolutely taking these on the plane with me. Just two products left on this list for today anyway. Maybe I'll do another if I find some more deals throughout the week. Second to last is a product that I'm not a big fan of, but it's not really intended for me. That is the AnchorMake M5C. It is an exceptional build quality machine. It's quick and it's targeted at entry level. Children, teenagers, folks who are intimidated by getting into 3D printing, it only has a single button operation on the machine. The rest is done through your slicer or through an app on your phone or tablet. And that's kind of understandable when you think about the market that it's aimed at, which isn't me as the power user who's building their own custom 3D printers. It is meant for those folks who are intimidated by too many buttons and too many options. So if you are maybe thinking about gifting a 3D printer to somebody in your life, this might be a solid option. The M5C is currently on sale for $319. And I do have to say that at that price point, I'm not sure of any other machine that touches its build quality in that range. You can see my M5C right there at the very edge of the screen. I'm gonna be giving that to one of Ruby's friends who's interested in getting into 3D printing but is intimidated by it. It's the perfect machine for them. And our last item on the list is another one you can see right behind me there, the Creality K1. Plenty of people are in love with the K1 series and Creality absolutely shook up their own market when it comes to like the Ender 3s they're ubiquitously known for when it came to the K1. Sure, it's a Creality clone of a bamboo machine. It's got a similar design philosophy in almost every way to the Bamboo Lab machines, but at a more affordable price running Creality OS firmware, which is really Clipper in their clothing, but it's fast. The build quality is surprisingly good for Creality. It's not perfect by any means, and it hasn't blown me away, but it is a really affordable machine on sale right now for $399. I mean, if we're comparing the Creality K1 to the Bamboo X1, even with the X1 on sale at $1249 right now, you could still pick up 
three of the K1s at this price for the price of that one X1. So if you're looking to set up a little print farm where you just want fast machines that can print materials like ABS, ASA, even maybe a little bit of nylon if you get the chamber tempers up there, then that machine, that's a heck of a price. I haven't done any content about the K1 because nothing about it has really spoken to me personally, and I'm not really a fan of it. That's not to say it's a bad machine by any means. I can't really explain why I'm not sold on it. I'm just not. But if you're interested and that price is speaking to you, I mean, it's only $80 more than the M5C from Anchor Make. $399, you can get the K1. All right, folks, that's going to wrap it up for my deal list for 2023, at least the week before Black Friday. I'm not aware of any other ones coming down the pipeline for actual Black Friday. If you know of any deals that I might have missed here or that are coming, let us know in the comments where we can find those deals. Once again, please consider using those links in the description. They are affiliate links, which won't cost you anything more, but does give me a little commission to keep making videos like this. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, maybe you'll enjoy one of these two videos right here, and I will catch you in the next one.